Every year, 11.2 billion tonnes of waste is sent to landfill globally. Buildings account for around half of the 92 billion tonnes of materials extracted annually in Australia. The built environment is responsible for about 60% of the waste we generate. This cannot continue. When we really started to look at our activities and realised that you know, we're generating so much waste out of producing both houses and apartments, and we realised there must be a better way. So what we're looking at is how do you actually stop digging things out of the ground but also use the waste to produce those things that you put into a building. So essentially at Smart Centre we're taking those materials that would have ended up in landfill, different types of glass and plastics that are rather difficult to recycle in a traditional sense, really using those as our resources for manufacturing and creating these valuable products that are fit for purpose. So this partnership with the Smart Centre and, and obviously Veena started on our Marrick & Co project. Marrick & Co was very much about ceramics placed within an apartment. I suppose what we're seeing in this particular apartment is the use of these ceramics in actual building materials. This is the next footstep in that journey where we've actually got together with Veena and Smart Centre to be able to work with them on coming up with what is important to the industry. So it's that collaboration of saying, well, maybe that doesn't work, but maybe this does work because it's actually what our customers want. One of the objectives was really to be able to appeal to the mass audience. And if we can get products that can appeal to a broad range of customers, it means we're going to be able to introduce sustainability into more and more of our products. Well, our products are really unique. Our green ceramics are a hybrid. So we actually bring together glass and textile waste materials in a whole new form. Even at the end of life for these materials, there is another pathway. Converting it into a new product, which then is part of the circular economy, I think is really where we want to take this product. Circular economy means that you need to be really clever in the way you manufacture your products where you take your raw materials from waste. That ability to transform our different types of materials into whole new materials and products enables us to keep the materials in our economy for as long as possible. And with these new technologies, that's what you have to do. You have to trial things, you have to keep pushing the boundaries, you have to test them to see, okay, that worked or that didn't work, and then massage it or change the technologies to come up with the thing that will work. You know, and, and in our partnership with Murbach, it was really fantastic that they all appreciated the fact that a product doesn't just have to look good, a product has to perform which means all the science, all the testing has to be done and the products have to conform to the standards for our built environment applications. So I guess there's two parts to being fit for purpose. One is complying with the codes and that was really our first step. And the second is making sure that it really meets Mervac's quality standards. And to make sure it meets Mervac's quality standards, we did a huge amount of testing over many months and that was taking all the products into our testing lab to test for things like wine, soy sauce, lemon juice, and test how all the materials respond over periods of time, you know, from two hours to two days to two weeks. It's critical when making any material for building that we have consistency. And that's not consistency across one batch, that's across all batches. So we're able to evolve the product with SMART and SMART were able to deliver us a product once we went through the testing that was consistent. And I guess now that we've got to this level of confidence in this product, there's no reason why we couldn't use it in other apartments as we go. So all the materials that we we're dealing with aren't the typical materials and we had to work very closely with the SMART Centre in terms of all the different recycled products they had and how we could use those products to get the colour and the hue and everything that we were looking for that sort of fulfilled the interior designer's vision. So this is really interesting actually. The way the textiles provide colour into the tile is actually coming from the waste textiles themselves. So if you have a green waste textile, you will have a green tile. 
Whenever I'm creating a space, it's all about material and layers. So as soon as I came in, when I saw the tiles down, I saw this splashback in the kitchen, I saw the beautiful pendant lights over the kitchen bench, it's something that you could go and buy in store, but it's all made from recycled fabric. So it's absolutely incredible how they're producing this. That's exactly where we need to be, and that's what we need to focus on more and more. You know, the nice thing about our micro factories is that they are decentralized. In fact, the ability to have micro factories distributed means logically your waste resources don't have to travel massive mileages. And that's already reducing carbon footprint, not to mention cost of manufacturing. So there are so many beautiful green outcomes from our micro factories. Not only is it going to be you know, ultimately great for the environment, but it actually makes good business sense to reduce waste, reduce costs, and I suppose put value back into the things that our customers ultimately appreciate and see value in. You know, we, we simply cannot afford to continue life in the way we used to, that making, using and disposing things off. We have to actually stop and take stock and go, the planet simply cannot afford that anymore. And this is why this apartment is so important. It's, I suppose it's, it's Smart Centre 2, if you like. We started with Marrick & Co. This is the next iteration of it. And this is the start of something that I think is going to become so normal in our industry that it's critical that we're actually part of it and we understand it and that we can actually collaborate and contribute to how this thing will move forward.